The center started in the middle 50s. At that time, the Muslims were really not that even obvious. The leadership was about four or five persons, Dr. Bailey, the place was very narrow. So they put the chairs, it becomes a lecture hall, you move the chairs, it becomes a prayer hall. I felt that there is a spirit that binds those people together. One of the most important things which made me feel I am a part of this community was the way the women was treated. The bylaws was written that three women has to be on the board of nine. People from different lands, they started feeling that they are one group by the establishment of no privilege of any political party to participate. No Islamic division. Rich, poor, we all volunteered for the sake of making this community as one big community together. And the community grew. We grew out of the St. Andrews, and we needed to move to a larger place. Because that one would not allow for any expansion. So we moved to the current location in Vermont in 1976. Being an independent institution, and this is very important. And we had to put our homes in loan to buy the new uh, mosque. We had to borrow money to buy the new mosque. We invited the rector of the Azhar University to be our guest in the inauguration celebration of that Islamic center. The vision was open a space and it will be filled. director at the time of Dr. Mohsin Bailey, and he is the first one in the whole United States to start an interfaith dialogue. Within a few years, other religions and other churches and synagogues uh, joined with the Islamic Center into a common activity, which was very, very beneficial, very useful to them, but mostly to us. Dr. Hathout, both of them, and Dr. Osman, really the intellectual giants who focused the philosophy of the center on what does it mean to be a good Muslim in America. We wanted the real thinkers to see the environment in the American society and how could Islam help people living in that era started identifying the American Muslim identity. At that time, the emergence of the idea of American Muslim identity was a very gigantic step forward. Like we have Egyptian Muslim and Pakistani Muslim who should have American Muslim. Loyal to his country, inspired and directed by the values of his or her religion. like the United Nations. It like made the verse about we've created a unity nation and tribes like a real thing. You just create such a bond with the people that come because they're all basically coming for one purpose. They want the unity, they want the love, they want the you know to be free to be themselves. I took great pride in my religion and I was very confident in it. This is me like I'm Muslim but I'm not different. We were very aware 
that we cannot avoid politics. We knew that as Americans, our expressions should be different. We tried to talk the language of human values, of peace and justice. We decided to have a separate organization to handle these hot issues. So impact came to the picture. We had volunteers who run the Sunday school. We have to give the responsibility to our new generation. The beginning was developed and we guaranteed that we have at least a very solid curriculum. We decided to have the New Horizon system. Four schools around the greater Los Angeles to serve the Muslim children and to prepare them to be good Muslims and good American citizens. I went to New Horizon up until eighth grade. It kind of gave me confidence in myself and confidence in my faith. And it wasn't just like me being Muslim, but me being um, somebody who loves to be socially aware, somebody who loves politics, somebody who loves art, and like tying all that together. And I feel like it kind of really helped me define who I am as a person. It wasn't just that they encouraged youth leadership, they put youth in leadership positions. And it was across gender, and that was so unique to any, not just any mosque, but a lot of institutions. All those like random skills that you just picked up from like doing the retreat, doing the ski trips, to being on the board. I learned the most skills at the mosque. The leadership in the center was always trying to help us to rise above all the noise that was happening in our life as kids and get us to the next step. I wanted to speak their language. I wanted to give them a space to grow as they are. And they never wavered away from Islam. And they found themselves a role to play, suitable to their talent and their capability. Dr. Meher, I remember him always saying, I don't care how you come to the Islamic Center, as long as you come. I can remember when Dr. Elfi and Dr. Hathout would say, write anything you want, ask me any question you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will not judge you. Any question, it doesn't matter what it it's is. True. If it has to do with sex, drugs, or whatever it, must, it may be. You felt like people gen genuinely cared about your well-being. And I do think there was a spiritual inclusiveness. Do you know what I mean? And there was a space where you can kind of agree to disagree. I think especially for a young person like myself, the space it creates lets young people grow and to find themselves and also find God. It's very empowering. When I met everyone in the youth group, I was able to be me. I was able to be proud of who I was. I met a lot of special people in my life there. And it was like my family. To be able to have 10 plus years worth of memories in a building you went to every week is something you can't take away. Our elders far exceeded expectations, and um, I just hope that we can rise to their level of um, dedication, because they really dedicated themselves for us. It, it is there. We have it. It is. We built it, and the community is supporting it. The, the young people of the past are now the leaders of the present. Don't plateau. Keep the curve shooting up. The sky is the limit. There is nothing we call the end. We all work for the uh, this beautiful religion. Others are taking from that, that experience and they are growing into it better than us because they are American Muslims. This is the sweat and the tear and sleepless nights of several generations. And don't let it slip out of your hands. Truthful ideas stay 
as the Quran said, whatever good for the people will, will last. It was positive on our personality, on our family life, on the raising of our children, and on seeing and feeling the reflection of that on the community.